you know, for me, I always got up really early, went down to the site uh, about 5.30 during that horrific two-week period and got the best briefing I could. What's going on? Is there any positive news? What do we need? Well, I made a battlefield decision that not only would we very early in the morning explain what was going on to the public at large, to the Oklahoma City community, but then I would get in my car and go over to the First Christian Church there that was the center of the family gathering. The reason the families were all given the briefings first is they should have been given the briefings first. It was their loved ones that had been most adversely affected, and it was all about their loved ones, you know, trying to rescue them initially and then trying to return them in the end because they'd lost their lives in a terrible, terrible evil act. It was the right thing to do. They were first, they were foremost, and they should have been. I wanted to have an individual person explain, uh, okay, I was there, here's what we're seeing, here's what we're doing, uh, likelihood of survival, really minimal. I mean, we, or there's an opportunity, I mean, whatever the facts were, we wanted the families to have a personal briefing and not get their information from television. Whoever was on television, uh, I think people felt that individual was telling the truth. There was no other agenda except to try to rescue, recover, and heal. There was extraordinary communication, and I think communication really makes a difference in a situation like this because everybody knew what everybody else was doing, and they also communicated it in advance, during, and after it was over so that there weren't any slip-ups.